na buong natutuparin ko na buong katapatan at sigasi. You, the people, have spoken, and it is resounding. Si Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Si Ferdinand. Ferdinand Marcos Sr., who reigned over the Philippines for more than 21 years. He took advantage of the uncertainties of the Cold War to impose his own order. Presenting this really clinically whitewashed image of, of the Marcos era that had the Philippines not have the pesky Etsa revolution, we would have been now a Singapore. I once knew a man who saw what little had been achieved since independence in a land of people with the greatest potential for achievement, and yet they were poor. But he got it done. So he projects this very soft image, and that allowed him to essentially use the strongman Marcus brand plus his own laid-back charisma and create this whole new hybrid of a brand, which is now appealing to a huge section of the Philippine society. We're essentially still stuck with the problems that we inherited, whether it's debt, whether it's institutional erosion, whether it's corruption of the judiciary and state institution, none of that was significantly improved. They had 21 years to do whatever they wanted in the Philippines, run it like their personal fiefdom. And the fear right now is that they're gonna do the same thing. I think they're definitely here to erase the legacy of the 1996 revolution.